October November 2022 Paper 4 Variant 1 Question 1 okay, Potassium correct and magnesium correct they are both ionic solid Table 1.1 we're going to use uh, all these enthalpy uh, for the coming calculation. Part A. Complete the energy cycle involve the enthalpy change of solution. Lay this energy and hydration enthalpy. Label your diagram. So first we must start with the latest energy is easier. Okay, to form this KCl solid, we're going to use the gases ion. Gases ion of potassium and gases ion of chloride. Okay, so after they react and combine, then they will form the solid. The enthalpies that involve is the latest energy. Okay, after that, we can link these gases ion and the solid to the solutions that will be formed. Because the gases ions, they can dissolve in a large amount of water to form the solution, the ionic uh, solution. And the solid itself also can dissolve and form this aqueous solution. So means different enthalpies will be involved. When the gases ion dissolved in water, the enthalpy that involved is hydration enthalpy. When the solid dissolved in water, the enthalpies that involve is the solutions. Enthalpies of the solution. Okay, so after that, you just complete the whole cycle. Remember to label this, uh, the state. The state is very important. So you must put gases ion and the aqueous solution. Right, okay. So you complete the cycle, then you can get the two marks. Okay, part B. Use the data in the table 1.1 to calculate enthalpy change of hydration of magnesium ion okay so just use the informations that given in table 1.1 okay you can find it later okay before you try to calculate that you need to at least know how the the energy cycles looks like okay so first again we start from gases ion and form the solid so when the gases ion combine and form solid the enthalpies that involve will be latest energy and the gases ion can dissolve in water to form aqueous solution so therefore the enthalpies that involve is the enthalpies of the cation and enthalpies hydration of the anion. So these two is very important because uh, what we need to calculate is actually this one. The hydration enthalpy for the magnesium ion, right? Because this one is given. The hydration enthalpies of the chloride is given. Okay, after that, we have to know uh, another enthalpy. When the magnesium chloride solid dissolve in water from aqueous solution so it's the delta H solution okay so then we can uh, form the equation right uh, using this three enthalpy so we know that latest energy plus delta H solution is equal to the hydration enthalpy for the both cations and anion remember here you need to times two because it's involved two moles of gases chloride ion okay therefore you will get this so once you combine you get this equation 
this one. So this is the equations that you need to get before you calculate. Okay, so substitute all the enthalpies that involved. Uh, you can get this latest energy enthalpy change of solution of magnesium chloride and the uh, hydration enthalpies of chloride from this table 1.1 here all this so hydration enthalpies of chloride the solutions uh, enthalpy change of solution for magnesium chloride you, you can get this one okay and the latest energy of magnesium chloride you can get this one right you can get all this and you substitute in into this equation rearrange you get the hydration enthalpy for magnesium ion is negative 1920 kilojoule per mole okay so next part c explain the reason why latest energy of magnesium chloride is more exo than the latest energy of KCR. Okay, this one is very easy. Whenever they ask, actually, they want to ask the size. The size of the ions and uh, sometimes is charged, right? So in this case, is uh, actually uh, these two, uh, these two factors together. Okay, so if we try to compare potassium ion and magnesium ion, because potassium ion is has one electron shell more than the magnesium ion. And magnesium ion has more charge. So it's too positive uh, for magnesium ion. Potassium ion is just positive. So therefore, you can discuss these two, right? First is the size. Okay, magnesium ion is smaller than potassium ion. At the same time, magnesium ion has greater charge than potassium ion. Means when the size is smaller and the charge is more, we can say that the charge density for the magnesium is actually higher or greater. Greater charge density. Magnesium, uh, because it has greater charge density, therefore it can attract the chloride stronger than the potassium ion. Uh, that's the reason why it's more exo because we know that when there is a bond formation and it's a stronger bonds formation it will release more energy so it's more exo okay part d define the following terms okay. so enthalpy change part one enthalpy change of atomization okay very easy enthalpy change when one mole of gases atoms form from the elements and these elements must in its standard state uh, for example magnesium so solid when it's atomized then it will form magnesium gases atom uh, so this one is the uh, atomization of these elements so means magnesium it need to be in its uh, standard state means initially it must be in solid form then it will form gases at the okay, so part two first electron affinity e a first e a so is NW change when one mole of gases at them gains one mole of electron okay which means when the gases atoms form right for example uh, gases atom of chlorine form so this one will gain one mole of electron to form the chloride, right, gases ion. So this is uh, the EA. Uh, normally it's for the non-metals, right, like groups uh, 17 elements and so on. Okay, part E, explain what it means by entropy. Okay, entropy, uh, actually, uh, the easiest one you can say that is a measurement of randomness of a system. Or you can actually uh, give uh, this uh, answer. Numbers of possible arrangement of particles and energy in the system. Means uh, what is the way, how many ways is arranged. It can be arranged right, in a particular system. Okay, part two. 
Potassium chloride is very soluble in water at 20 degrees C. Explain the solubility of potassium chloride by reference to change in entropy. Okay, so first you have to understand uh, the sodium chloride. Sorry, it's not sodium chloride here. It's a potassium chloride. Okay, but actually it's similar. Okay, uh, potassium chloride, sodium chloride is similar. So when the salt, okay, in solid form, when it dissolves in the water, when the time is formed ions, so the ions will go to more ways. Means that it can go to other place in the water or the system. So therefore, uh, the randomness actually increases. Okay, if let's say now we use KCl, actually same, right? So also it will dissolve and form potassium ion, right? Okay, so means the numbers of way its a range is small. So we know that the delta S means the change in entropy must be positive. It's getting more random. So you can just uh, say that delta S is positive because the potassium chloride solid dissolve in a large amount of water, then it will form the aqueous solution. Or you can actually use the Gibbs uh, equations to explain. So first you need to know delta G equal to delta H minus T delta S. So this one is Gibbs energy, this one is enthalpy, this is entropy. Okay, so delta S solution means delta H is positive 15. This one is given in the table 1.1. So this one is positive means when the uh, delta S is more positive means the negative T delta S is going to be more negative, means this part is more negative. When this one is more negative, then it can overweight or overcome this positive enthalpy. Eventually, delta G will be negative. This is how you explain using Gibbs. Right? Delta S is positive and delta G therefore is negative as T delta S is greater than the delta H solution or you can say that del negative T delta S is more negative than the delta H solution uh, so this is a possible uh, explanations that you can give of course the easier one is the first one okay part three using the Gibbs equation and your answer in part E2 means this one to predict whether potassium chloride is more soluble at 20 degrees C or 80. Uh, then this one uh, you must use the delta H solution because the H solutions that given in the table is this. Okay, so delta H solution is endothermic. Uh, so when when temperature increases Okay, let's say now uh, is a higher temperature, 80 degrees C. So it means uh, this temperature increase. When temperature increase, so we know that the T delta S is more positive, isn't it? So T delta S is more positive means delta H is minus a more positive value. So eventually, eventually delta G will be more negative. Uh, so you can explain using temperature because when temperature increases the net the, the T delta S is more positive Eventually delta G is negative when delta G is negative. Therefore is more feasible Or you can explain the whole things means negative T delta S so means when temperature is higher Negative T delta S is more negative then it can overweight the positive delta H okay, and eventually delta G will be negative as well so this is how you explain okay, using the temperature which means uh, at the end the higher temperature then is going to be more soluble because of the Gibbs energy Gibbs energy is more negative okay, so I hope you understand right 
uh, that's all. Thank you.